Hey guys, so as you can see from the title, I'm gonna be talking about types of Snapchatters. Yeah, yeah, I know everyone does this. It's so basic and generic, but they don't do it like me because they probably do it better and not shitty. Anyways, this is pretty much a way for me to rant and complain about some of my pet peeves with Snapchat. So let's start bitching. Number one, the concert enthusiast. Now, these are the kind of people that are always going to concerts. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with going to concerts. If that's your thing, then go ahead, go for it. Take a snap or two, but you don't have to Snapchat the whole performance. Like literally, I have to be skipping 20 minutes of this shit, and it's always from the same angle. And the sound is usually distorted as shit. Lighting is so bad, so the camera quality is terrible. There's no variety. Yeah, I get it, you're at a concert. I could tell from the 50 crappy snaps that you took. Like, what am I supposed to do? Rock out with you or something? Then you got the snap vloggers. The snap vloggers are the ones who snapchat everything in their life, from the moment they wake up to the moment they fall asleep. I mean, they snapchat everything. Uh, rise and shine, little buddies, time to wake up. Can't start my day off without my morning cup of coffee. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Karaoke snappers. These kind of snapchatters are the ones who post on their stories of them lip singing to whatever they're listening to. Last night took a hell, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks. Do that ass was real when I hit it, bounce back. Last time I checked, this is Snapchat, not Musical.ly. Like, if you're gonna do this, at least show off your talents and, you know, do it for real. Let's go crazy, crazy, crazy till we see the sun. The next one also has to do with music. Well, call these people the radio heads. This is the type of snap where someone is sitting on their car and all they do is just record their stereo and the music playing. And that's all. Nothing else, just the car stereo. Again, this would be fine. It doesn't really bother me, but in moderation. But apparently that's too much to ask for around here. People will literally snap the whole song in their story. Like, bitch, if I wanted to listen to it, I'd play the whole song myself. This next one doesn't have a name. Mostly because I'm just too lazy to come up with one. This is probably the one that personally bothers me the most. Now imagine getting a snap from someone. You open it up and you see this special video or picture that they sent you. It makes you feel good. Like you guys just shared a little secret that only both of you are a part of. Your own special memory, right? Well guess again, bitch. Cause they didn't just send it to you. They also posted it on their Snapchat story. Do you know how terrible that feels? Like, why did you send it to me if you're just gonna post it on your story? It's a public thing now. Did I really need to see that right away? I couldn't wait till when I was taking a crap and just scrolling through my feed? Maybe if you're the one who does that, you can tell me the process behind it because I really don't understand why. Just why. Anyways, there's a lot more that bother me, but I'm done. I don't know, maybe I'm just overreacting. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe as it would help my channel out. Let me know if you guys have any Snapchats that you find annoying. Because that way, at least I won't feel like I have a giant stick on my ass. Which, I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of like it. Now, if you guys excuse me, I have a lot of Snapchat stories to get through. And a toilet with my name on it. Plus, I ate Taco Bell, so fuck.